Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Osaze Joshua Baseki Osemegi, the CEO of Laplage Betabase. Yeah, this video is meant to be brief and straight to the point. It is also not a video that should be sent to the general public. It is strictly for our training providers and our facilitators. The aim of this video is just to ensure you get the proper briefing on how to use a Facebook page to go through the campaign we are carrying out in the next few days, precisely two or three days from now. We started yesterday evening, and because I noticed there were some shortcomings among facilitators and the training providers, I decided to do this video. Please, if you are watching this video, make sure you watch every single part of it before you start executing what you want to execute. Okay. Before I go to share the screen, let me quickly explain to you. You need a Facebook page. Your Facebook page needs to have a cover and a logo. And like I said, if you cannot do a logo or a Facebook cover with the poster on my wall as you were taught, you can quickly pay somebody to do that for you. But why pay someone when you can use poster on my wall? I will send you a video on how to use poster on my wall and do your Facebook cover. Just type the size, Facebook cover, and design a few designs you want to have on it, and put it there, and do your logo. And that's all. Now, when you have your Facebook page, we have two posts that we are campaigning for now. The first one is Agenda 2063. African Union Agenda 2063. And the second one is the skill acquisition program we are promoting to train young Nigerians, young Africans, graduates, teachers, lecturers, on how they can teach or facilitate digitally. And the program is free of charge. As a matter of fact, they are supposed to start any money when they become facilitators. Some of you are already facilitators. If you are a facilitator and you're enjoying this program, I think this is an opportunity for you to bless others by inviting them to be part of it. So those are the two programs we'll be promoting. But you need your Facebook page to promote this. You can actually share in your WhatsApp group, in your other WhatsApp group with your friends on WhatsApp, but we want you to create a Facebook page, which is more or less like your website. So what you do is that we will send you a video to watch on how to create your Facebook page. We don't have time to do that now. If you can do that, watch the video, straightforward, please do that this morning. And when you create your Facebook page, we are going to send these two posts to your Facebook page. When you send the message, the message is already in VIP too. As much as possible, we'll try to re repost everything this morning so that everybody will follow. So immediately you watch this video, or I post this video, I will advise that you delete everything in your Facebook VIP too, and ask your facilitators to also delete everything they have so that we can repost the assignment on how it should be posted on your Facebook page. It makes it very easy for you to trace what you want, want to do. That is from your head. Now you have two posts on your Facebook page. The first post, you can pin it. If you post these two posts, I advise you don't post any other post, at least for the next few days until we finish this assignment. Please adhere strictly to that so that it will be easy for, your, for people to find those posts. However, we have another way around it too. After posting those two posts, remember you should remove the asterisks on those posts. If you post them on Facebook with those asterisks that makes it bold on WhatsApp, it will make your post very untidy, very unprofessional. So be patient enough to remove each star or asterisk that comes with the post. Then you post it. Remember before you post the message with the picture or your flyer, make sure you put your WhatsApp group link, preferably a new WhatsApp group. You have created for it for the purpose of getting new facilitators. Put your WhatsApp group link, remove mine. Put your WhatsApp business number, remove mine. Please, for WhatsApp business number, we specifically say WhatsApp business number so that you can configure it. If you don't know how to do that, please just get somebody close by to do that for you. You need to start doing a lot of things for yourself. You need to start achieving a lot of things and simplify your processes. When you configure your WhatsApp group 
uh, welcome message or greetings message, which I'm going to send mine to the group. Just remove my link and put your link, remove my WhatsApp number, business number, and put your own, and go to your greetings and edit it and put this message. What it means automatically is that on your flyer, on your message that you posted on Facebook, you've, you have two options. People can join your group with the link or people can join with the WhatsApp number. Once they just say hi to you, automatically that message will come up with your group link. So without responding to anybody, your WhatsApp will be responding for you. That's why we insist to use your WhatsApp business. So that is that. Now, this is also applicable to facilitators. Create your Facebook page. It will help people to know you better. It will make you more credible for people to go and see what you've been doing. Testimonies will be posted there. That is how things are done. Don't be left out. Now, we'll go to stage two. I will also post a message which I posted yesterday, but because we are going to wipe out everything in VIP2 so that I can repost everything, I may need to repost it for you. What you do is that I will send an assignment, assignment number one, with all the things they need to do. Then you go to those three dots on each post you have posted. The first one is African Agenda 2063. You go to those three dots, use your phone, click on those three dots. You see copy link. The link is for that post. When you copy it, come to the one I sent to you on your WhatsApp VIP two, or which you also sent to your VIP for your, to your facilitators. Remove my own link and put your link, and then send it to your class, both trainers and facilitators as assignment. Assignment one. Do the same for the second one, which is for facilitators, and call it assignment two. Please be, be creative about the way you interact with your students. Let them know that they are volunteers. When they post the first one, appreciate them, thank them, be excited to know that you've seen a lot of them there, that you want to see more of them. And let them know that this volunteering will come with benefits. One of the benefits is that we're going to do a detailed report of people that volunteered to the necessary organizations. Two, we are going to give them certificates of volunteering, certificate as digital ambassadors, volunteering for the African, Agen African Union Agenda 2063. And they're going to get a special letter detailing how many hours they volunteered and what that means to their credit unit. It's actually going to amount to a credit unit, especially if you're looking for a job or even admission in international institutions. It's not a job. The certificate they're going to get is CPD accredited. Go and find out what CPD means. CPD from our UK partner. So they have every reason why they should go online and volunteer and write their names in gold. So bet. Be happy with them, play with them, be excited with them, and carry them along. That is just that. That is all you need to do. So let me quickly show you what we are talking about. Now, if you are in VIP1 or VIP2, uh, yeah, facilitators might not be here. But training providers, VIP1, VIP2 is for training providers. As a training provider, you're supposed to send this message back to your facilitators to quickly implement. Okay. This is, let me go straight to the first uh, message. Hold on. Now, this is my flyer, which I suppose you've gotten already. I will send the link for you to get your flyer. If you've not gotten your flyer, you need to get your flyer. You, you put your name and you put your WhatsApp business phone number, following the principle I just explained to you, so that when they send hi to your WhatsApp business, it immediately sends them a message with the link. This is the message you are going to post on your Facebook page. It's actually the second message you are going to post, but you can post it at the first message, it doesn't matter. 
this is it. Now, when you're posting this on your WhatsApp or sending it to friends or groups, no problem, you can share this with, the, with your flyer and this message. The way it is, all you just do is remove this link. This is my WhatsApp group link. Remove it and put your WhatsApp group where you want people to join here. Because if you don't do that, people will be joining my group and I will not listen to any complaint. You can see this is my own phone number. Remove my phone number and put your phone number. Then share it to all your WhatsApp contacts and groups. However, where our emphasis is and which you have to do mandatorily and come and thank me later if you really want to mean business about what you are doing. If you really want to go far, not only about this training, about everything you are doing online. Copy this message with your WhatsApp group link and your phone number now. You have your flyer already as a picture. Go to Facebook. Now, this is my Facebook page. This is my Facebook page. You just come here on your Facebook page and post it, whether by laptop or phone. Sometimes if it's phone you are using, you see post, or you say, create a post, attach a picture and post the message. And we are posting the message. Please make sure if it is joined together, separate them and make, let it be very neat, the way it is on WhatsApp. The watchword for you here is that you must be patient and you must be diligent. Every single star on that message must be removed. Otherwise, people will just laugh at you when they see your post and they will not even take it serious. Yeah, okay. Now, when you post it, it will come like this. This is mine. Since yesterday, over close to 500 people have been reached, 299 people have been engaged, 83 comments and 46 shares. Yeah. So that is what you start seeing on your page. This is the African Union Agenda 23. Yes. So you will do the same thing for African Union Agenda 2063, which is here. This is it. This is the post. So you don't need to change anything. Just post it that way. That is it. Then this is the picture you are going to post. So you have to post on your Facebook page. Then when you finish posting, just come <clears throat> to these three dots. I advise you to use your phone to click on these three dots on each post and copy the link. Then come back to your WhatsApp group and copy this. This is the assignment, first assignment. You leave all this and remove this. This is my post link. Remove it and put your own post link. Well, I just want to believe you can edit. If in case of the fact that you can't edit for anyone that can edit, if you want to edit, copy this. And post it as if you want to post it to me or to your friend or to your son, your daughter, anybody. So with, once you post it here, don't post it, don't share it. Because now you can edit it. You can see my cursor is blinking. It's sent it with your phone. Remove it. But before you do this, copy your post link and post it here. Then post this one on top. Then remove this first link and shift the last link, which is in your own link now, and shift it up to replace mine, to put in the position of mine that you deleted. Then you can post or you copy it and post it in your class. Then delete it from who you wanted to send it to, or you post it to who you wanted to send it to, so that you can have a copy, then go there and copy the correct link, now, the correct post now. Go to your class and post it there. Say assignment one. When you post the first assignment, please give them time to do it. Give them like 30 minutes to do it or 10 minutes or 15 minutes to do it. And tell them assignment two is coming. That you are waiting for them. Tell them you are on Facebook, you are watching, you are seeing everybody. You can even mention some names. Let them make sure they share and they like encourage them, tell them you're also there with them. Do the same for them for the second post and call it assignment two. Today we are going to add the third assignment. What is the third assignment? This is the Facebook page. If I click here, you will see share or whatever. And if you come here to
you can click, you can click on share, you can just give them your Facebook, whatever to share. There to share. Then you can you can try out some other things, but just follow the process we are giving you here. Here, so just click on share. But on your phone, you can go to your. Um, I actually don't advise you to do all this with your laptop for now. You can use your phone. Then with your phone, just go to the top of your Facebook page, that very page you've created, just go to the top and you will see, um, you will see more, click on more. When you click on more, you will see copy link, copy page link. Come to that same message in the group, the assignment, make it assignment three, and paste your group link. And the assignment now will change a bit. The assignment will change a bit. Instead of saying share post, like post, you say like page and invite others to like the page. You remove all these things. So that that assignment is for people to like your page and you have new people following your page and it is being shared. In fact, they can even share the link on their Facebook contact, on their WhatsApp contact, and things like that. So that is basically the assignment we'll be carrying out today. And this is the process you need to follow. Very simple, very straightforward. But I can bet you that if you do it once, it is once and for all. And once you do it once, you can always do it. It will help your business. It will help everything you are doing. And it is another great way of you massively marketing what you are doing. Thank you very much. I want to believe this video will go a long way to help you. Please, once again, remember to send to your facilitators to watch and do it now. And before I, I end this video, you may do all these things and not get through. You may do all these things and your students in your class might not even share this. They might not even take action or volunteer. But you know why? A lot of them have been carried away by huge distractions on WhatsApp. So many messages, Facebook, social media, family, school fees, school roles, everything. Don't blame them. You need to be able to get their attention back to the class and let them do the assignment. And one of the ways you need to do that now, 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 please do that now before 10 o'clock. What is 10 o'clock? Before 9.30, save each person's number. I've showed you how to save number. When you save the first person's number in your current class, of international volunteering. When you save the first number, maybe you just say uh, student one or international volunteer one, very, abbreviated to be very short. Copy interval one as the abbreviated form of the name you are saving. Interval one. Don't add the one you are copying. Just say interval. Go to the next name, paste it and say interval. Just paste the interval and type two. And so on, so on, so until you finish typing. Then, please, I will send the message you need to send to everybody in your class one by one this morning. If you don't do it, then it means you are not ready to achieve results. If you do it, it will keep generating results for you throughout the next classes you are doing. All the classes you'll be doing, you'll be generating massive results, massive responses. Yes, I, know, I understand that one or two persons might say, why are you sending me private message? But hardly, it hardly happens. If it happens, no problem, ignore the person. Then next time, don't send the person private message. Just remove the person from your group. So once you send the first message, which I'm going to send to you this morning with a video, just say, good morning, how are you doing? Thank you for being in the class. I just want to encourage you to continue in the class, be part of the activity, get this worthy certificate that you, sh you should be proud enough to show your children and show the international community. I want you to be part of it and hope you've been enjoying the class so far. And you put your, your that very class link there because some of them might, must have even forgotten the class. Where it's coming from. When you put the class link, the next thing you hold on. Since you've saved all their numbers, you've forwarded messages to them one by one. Please don't, do, don't send messages to them on broadcast list if you have not sent them a second message, which I will send to you. 
And the second message will be, thank you very much for being in the class. We love you. We are happy that you are in the class. We, we like what you are doing. It's, we are so excited that Africa has great heroes like you. No, just don't worry. I'll, I'll coin the message for you. You send it to them. And tell them that they should try and save your number, that you are their facilitator. They should try and save your number because you'll be sending exciting gifts, information, wonderful information, and promotions that we aid them promotionally, professionally, and even job advance that will also help them professionally. You also remind them to, it will also, it will also be an opportunity for you to tell them to check the group for wonderful things that will, that will, that will be useful to them and their kids and friends too. That alone will make them save your number. Then around 5.30, I mean, around 6.30, just 30 minutes before the time for the uh, voluntary assignment, you send them another message as a reminder. This time around, you put them in the broadcast group and send them a reminder. And the reminder to you put the group link so that in case they've forgotten what group is that and they've not gotten your first message, your second message, they will go. And this time they get it. And because they saved your first number, the number you put in the second message, majority of them will get that message when you send the broadcast list. And I also advise that before you even send that broadcast list by 6.30 or 6.40 something, make sure you send a message to the group, thanking them and making sure that everybody in the group saves your number. Please have a connection to your student. That is the only way you can succeed. You see the way I'm communicating with you, sending you videos, talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, doing Zoom for you, have a connection with your students. That is how it works. And you'll be getting massive, massive results. Thank you. And uh, I hope you watch this video. And I hope this video will be useful to you. God bless you.